Hey awesome people of YouTube, welcome back to another Starfield video. This one is the first of the series of Starship building. I will try to create famous ships, uh, be it from Star Wars, Star Trek, Halo, just pretty much anywhere. So, the first one I have is my own version of Razorcrest, you know, the Mandalorian. So, I have a broken apart, as we can see. So I will go from uh, the bottom and we'll go top. So I have the companion way, then the landing gear, then more, you know, the bursts. The bursts you can exchange for whatever you want. You know? I do have the landing gear on the side, just like how it is on the actual Razor Crest. I have um, tie your side caps all around to give it a little more slick way versus than just like a uh not really like just straight cut i know on razor crest you have the well, landing bay on the side and in the back unfortunately the side one you need to make it wider uh, so i went with a back one Ooh, there we go so you can see Right? That is the very bottom. So next one we have the belly. Then we have our reactor. I know for some of them you need to have like Starship Design Ring Force, but you don't need to. You can get it, uh, substitute this part for any other part that doesn't require the piloting or Starship Design. Then you have, you know, companion way. Then you have your uh, grav drive. It's hidden since you can't really see it in the... Razor Crest, you know, you got some more burbs, some more, some more side caps, right? So let's attach all of that. It doesn't look like you can attach it. Oop. And that's because you need to glitch this part in. So, let's look at the mid top part. You have, you know, your burps as usual, just so it's all in connected. Then you have your side caps with guns. I used Muller 10, uh, 10 5 U cannons, you know, because they signify like the blasters or the guns on the side of the Razor Crest. They're pretty cool. I enjoyed them. Then, we have the very top, we have the cockpit. I went with a Viking CP100 cockpit. You can substitute for other ones. And I have Deimos wings, just like how it would be kind of going with the wings how they are in the Razor Crest. Here's where you attach your uh, engines and then the more slick back. So for this one, it's a bit iffy because of the, uh, cockpit so as you can see you cannot attach it because again of uh what you call it uh this little belly you need to glitch it in order to glitch it you just need to well have it uh duplicated below So, for this one, fortunately, uh, I will have to do a little different way cheese to get it to snap. That's now. Oh, it doesn't snap also, actually, probably because one little thing. This little sides. Should, nope, still doesn't because... Of the the bell, I forgot it took me a bit to build, so I apologize. Now we go. There we go. It's uh, ooh. so good. Now let's add this beauty. Then let's add our top. 
as you can see it's not working out too well so what you're gonna need to do is get rid of that add that and then let's do is just boom now you have it nice little more good let's attach our wings We got to move them. So for this next part. Let me see if I can do this a little properly. No. Need to do it one more, I believe. I did it the other way, so. And there we go. We'll just delete this too. Now you got your razor crest. As you can see, it's more my rendition. It didn't cost that much. Obviously, the hull is not the greatest. Mobility is pretty decent. Obviously, it does not have much cargo. So I think it turned out pretty well. So now we're gonna put the colors. We're gonna go with more darker because this is just white so it's more grayish and then boom kind of looks like a resi crust i know it's not the best but ooh, i messed up so before we finish off you can see the graph drive or reactor over here so how do you fix it is you just duplicate it and boom now it hides same thing for right here. Jesus. Boom. Now you can't see the grav drive. You can't see the um, reactor. Looks not bad. This is from the bottom. You know. You got your all in one burst and then companions. In the actual Razor Crest, you got the landing gear in the front, and then you have the cup on the sides. That's why I have this. I hope you like it. If you have any, so to speak, criticism about it, do let me know. Also, if you want to... Uh, uh, see other ships, like specific ones, do let me know. I will try to make them before other ones and if you want to give me a well not a little not a challenge but more of like a ship idea to build i will do my best to build it now i want to showcase some of the ships that i have made myself including the one that i didn't make it i just thought it was cool and i built it uh this is all <laughs> all me i know it's not the best i know the color scheme is not the greatest it's more of a fighter ship. I use the this landing gear because they're the best. And unfortunately, I can't make them smaller. They would not attach. But it's cool. It's really, as you can see, maximum durability or mobility. Uh, decent crew. Good light. Uh, jump range. No cargo, but it's a really good fighter. Smacks everything. Um, little Chungus. A little more on a cargo. You know, 1500, way more uh, crew of eight, really good. I like it. It's not my best, but it's pretty nice. Then Libertas, it's kind of more, I didn't know what I was going, kind of was going like somewhat of a Star Destroyer, but I like the little wings on the side. So it's not bad. So pretty cool. Now we got Biggest Dickest. This is purely my design. I have no idea what I was going with, but we have the best auditories on the sides, the second best out in the front, and then three gauze. It's not bad. I do enjoy uh, demos, cockpits, but I'm starting to like hope engineer, uh, hope tech a little bit more, a little more. Start that short is not mine. I just, um, oh, so to speak, copy and paste it. So it's not my design, but I still like it. It's pretty cool. That's what uh, Star the Shore would made me go with it. Uh, this was Star Eagle. I know it's butchered, but again, I was testing out different uh, builds that I wanted to do. 11 crew, probably the biggest I made. 
Oh, we got Big Chungus, my more uh, cargo heavy ship at 12k. As you can see, it has a lot of... Um, which we've got landing here. I also kind of had the uh, helium tanks and react on graph shield. So it's not bad, it has a good amount of stuff, real nice cargo. And the ship that I've been using now, my friend Carl helped me make it, HMS Pinafore, he named it, with Hope Tech, pretty much everything. Looks really nice in my opinion. Uh, here's more of a view of it. You know, we got our, uh, our reactor, grav drive, our three of the best uh, engines. You know, has 95 mobility, pretty good. Cargo 4.6k, not huge, as really awesome weapons. Two, uh, four of the best turrets facing, auto turrets facing forward, and then two on each side. And then we got, if you can see, got one right here, gauss weapon, and then two over here. I got a nice hope tech. There's only one ladder in this entire ship, but. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out the interiors of some of the ships, or if you want to, like I said, uh, see me build specific ships, do let me know down in the comments. With that said, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one, and bye-bye.